course of my life just changed. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're looking at the life of Josephine de Beauharnais, the woman who would become famous in the 19th century as Empress Josephine. You have a nice smile, General. You should smile more often. She was born Marie-Joseph Rose Tachère de la Pagerie on June 23, 1763, on the Caribbean island of Martinique, and led a fascinating and tumultuous life long before she became the celebrated consort of Napoleon Bonaparte. Her early years were marked by a blend of privilege, tragedy, and resilience. Josephine was born into a wealthy family that owned a sugar plantation, and her childhood was spent amidst the lush landscapes of Martinique. She received a rudimentary education, typical for a girl of her social standing at the time, which focused on basic reading, writing, and social graces. Despite the limitations of her formal education, Josephine's natural charm and grace became evident early on, earning her the affection of those around her. She loves the colors, the clothes, the customs, but she will never talk about the island. She won't find herself longing for it. In 1779, at the age of 16, Josephine married Alexandre de Beauharnais, a French aristocrat and soldier. This union marked the beginning of their life in Europe as she moved to France with her new husband. The marriage, while initially promising, faced numerous challenges. Alexandre was frequently absent due to military duties, leaving Josephine to navigate the complexities of French society on her own. Tragedy struck Josephine's life in 1794 when Alexandre was arrested during the reign of terror that characterized the French Revolution. He was ultimately executed by the guillotine, leaving Josephine widowed and facing the harsh realities of a nation in upheaval. This dark period of her life not only saw the loss of her husband, but also the confiscation of her family's property and her own imprisonment. Josephine's resilience and ability to adapt to changing circumstances became evident during this tumultuous time. She managed to secure her release from prison and survived by leveraging her charm and social connections. Her resourcefulness allowed her to navigate the dangerous political landscape of revolutionary France, where many faced perilous fates. During these challenging years, Josephine also caught the eye of a rising military officer named Napoleon Bonaparte. Their paths crossed, and despite the significant age difference between them, a romantic relationship blossomed. I was staring at, at your face. What is this costume you have on? This is my uniform. Josephine's beauty, wit, and social grace captured Napoleon's heart, leading to their marriage in 1796. For a long time, it has been claimed that Josephine did not actually want to marry him. But that's not true. She organized everything, chose the notary, drew up the prenuptial agreement. She was the driving force. This union would prove to be a pivotal moment in Josephine's life, as it catapulted her into the highest echelons of European society. Before becoming empress, Josephine was already renowned for her social prowess and impeccable taste. She played a key role in shaping the cultural and social scene of Napoleonic France. Her patronage of the arts and her exquisite taste in fashion contributed to the glamour of the French court. Josephine's salon became a gathering place for intellectuals, artists, and political figures, solidifying her influence in both the public and private spheres. Josephine's life before Napoleon was basically a tale of contrasts from the tropical beauty of Martinique to the upheavals of revolutionary France. Her journey from a privileged girl to a widow navigating the perils of the revolution showcased her resilience and adaptability. These qualities, combined with her innate charm and social acumen, paved the way for her to become an influential figure at the heart of European power. Her life was a tapestry woven with tragedy and triumph, laying the foundation for her iconic role as Napoleon's consort and empress of the French. She's a very intelligent woman and benefits from the many opportunities that exist after the reign of terror, especially for beautiful women who know how to deal with powerful men. Josephine's life underwent a profound transformation after she crossed paths with Napoleon Bonaparte. Their union not only altered the course of her personal history, but also played a pivotal role in the shaping of European politics and culture during the early 19th century. The marriage of Josephine and Napoleon in 1796 marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life. At the time of their union, Napoleon was a rising military star, known for his strategic brilliance and ambition. Josephine, with her elegance and social finesse, complemented his military prowess. The pairing was a strategic one, solidifying Napoleon's position in French society and providing Josephine with the stability and protection she needed. Despite the initial attraction and genuine affection between Josephine and Napoleon, their marriage faced its fair share of challenges. 
the couple struggled with issues of trust and fidelity, as Napoleon's military campaigns often took him away from Josephine for extended periods. If only I could, I would throw you into prison in my heart and lock you in there forever. Napoleon writes to her. However, Josephine's charm and ability to navigate the complex world of politics and power proved crucial in maintaining the stability of their relationship. In 1804, as Napoleon's star continued to rise, he declared himself emperor of the French. Josephine, once a humble girl from Martinique, now found herself elevated to the position of empress of France. The coronation ceremony at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris on December 2, 1804, was a spectacle of grandeur and opulence, symbolizing the zenith of Josephine's social ascent. As empress, Josephine played a central role in the creation of the Napoleonic court. Her influence extended beyond the ceremonial, as she actively participated in the cultural and social life of the time. Josephine was a patron of the arts, supporting painters, musicians, and writers. Her salon became legendary, attracting intellectuals, artists, and political figures from across Europe. One of Josephine's significant contributions was her influence on fashion. Her impeccable taste and style set trends that reverberated throughout Europe. She became a fashion icon, with women emulating her distinctive wardrobe and hairstyle. Josephine's impact on French fashion extended to her promotion of the silk and lace industries, further solidifying her legacy as a trendsetter. However, the couple's struggle with the issue of producing an heir cast a shadow over their otherwise glamorous life. Josephine had two children from her previous marriage, Eugène and Hortense, but the lack of a direct heir raised concerns about the continuity of the Bonaparte dynasty. Napoleon, driven by political and dynastic considerations, sought an annulment of their marriage. In 1809, despite Josephine's fervent resistance, the marriage was officially annulled. The emotional toll on Josephine was profound, as she was not only losing her status as empress, but also facing the dissolution of a marriage that had defined her adult life. However, even in the midst of personal upheaval, Josephine displayed resilience. She accepted the terms of the annulment with grace and maintained a relationship with Napoleon, who continued to value her counsel and companionship. She doesn't have to worry about anything material. Her situation and her position are secure. But her purpose in life is gone, and she falls into a deep depression. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Josephine retired to the Chateau de Malmaison, a residence she and Napoleon had acquired during their marriage. Here, she immersed herself in her botanical and horticultural pursuits, creating a haven of exotic plants and rare specimens. Josephine's passion for gardening reflected her enduring connection to her Caribbean roots and added another dimension to her multifaceted personality. Tragically, Josephine's life was cut short when she succumbed to pneumonia on May 29, 1814, at the age of 50. Her death marked the end of an era. Despite the challenges and tribulations she faced, Josephine's life after meeting Napoleon was characterized by adaptability, influence, and a lasting impact on the cultural landscape of Europe. They set off on this adventure together, and in some sense, they also exited the stage together. As the first empress of the French, Josephine's legacy endures not only in the pages of history, but also in the enduring allure of her style, patronage of the arts, and the beauty of her beloved Chateau de Malmaison. What do you think about the life of Empress Josephine? Let us know in the comments. Perhaps you would like to dance with me? I would like to try. Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.